part two of persuasion approaches. The basis of your speech should contain logical reasoning. This is contrary to most of what you see out there in advertising, which is illogical reasoning. Logical reasoning contains basically um, some form of thinking, and it's going to be based on either evidence, fact, expert witness, or statistics, which would be your forms of support. Now, your spe speech may end up having some form of illogical reasoning, uh, such as um, some of the propaganda that we will see in the advertising, but that'll be more to pull the reader in or the audience in, whereas the, the main crux of your speech will be focused on the logic, the thinking. As we said before, we want our audience to think. Let's talk a little bit about language. First of all, um, if you think about the word old versus antique, how are these words different? Well, obviously old has more of a negative connotation. It is something that's pertaining to something um, that people would prefer not to have, whereas antique is, is, is related to something that is uh, more positive, something that has value. So if you're going to refer to a desk as old, it may not be something someone might want. Whereas if you say it's an antique, people might want that. Similarly, if you're referring to someone as young, that is either a, a positive or even a neutral connotation where it, it isn't bad. Yet if the person is called immature, that may be taken in, in a wrong light and therefore uh, considered a negative. So connotation is the feelings associated with words, whereas denotation if is the definition associated with words. So if you think about it, in reality, what we're talking about here is um, denotation is the literal definition. So if you if you think about D, denotation, and definition, literal definition, uh, as opposed to connotation, which has to do with the feelings of the word, then be able to um, differentiate those. Other techniques we'll focus on are rhetorical techniques, such as parallel structure, rhetorical questions, even literary devices. And all these relate to the language, which will add to the speech that you're giving. We're going to talk quite a bit about advertising because that's a, a, a facet of persuasion. Some of the basic things in advertising that you've probably noticed already include attention-getting headlines, slogans like um, I'm loving it, um, things that help you remember the product. Testimonials are um, famous people selling the product, and many people buy the product because, oh, I saw such and such famous person as opposed to the product has quality. And there are pro product characters like Tony the Tiger or the Aflac Duck that again, when you see them, they remind you of the product and many people buy the product based on the character or something they remember as opposed to the quality. And then there's the comparison of products. Buy my product because it's better than the other product or don't buy the other product. And this actually is used quite a bit in your political campaigns. Don't vote for the other candidate because he makes these mistakes here and there, as opposed to just vote for me because I'm the better candidate. So it's kind of a negative approach, and um, it does work, but uh, sometimes it can be somewhat unethical. Emotional appeal is uh, something we've talked about quite a bit, and again, one of the most common ways of or one of the most common aspects of advertising that you'll notice out there. Bandwagon involves um, sort of the peer pressure technique. You should buy this because everybody's doing it. And then there are other propaganda techniques. I'm not going to go into great detail, but 
it's important that you understand that there are quite a few out there and this is still not anywhere near the full list of techniques but it needs to be it's important that you understand that there are more out there and they are used in both advertising as well as other areas uh, such as the political venue um, oftentimes when there are wars or things like that uh, the administration needs to get the um, American people or the, even uh, the people of that society to back them and so they'll use uh, methods of propaganda to, to get them to support that and you've see, seen this in um, various wars such as World War II or even current wars and it happens in many different societies. So um, we're going to focus a little bit on a, um, a YouTube ad and um, what you need to think about is, is the following things. How does a commercial grab your attention? What is the product and is there any specific product information given? Who is the target audience and what is the approach of the advertiser? So let's take a look at the first link. Now I'm not so sure this will work, but let's see if the, the volume works on this this one. Let's go back to that one. 